everyone agrees that the images were on all various levels of stunningly jaw-dropping. However the most amazing part of the James Webb Space Telescope is that it's only the beginning. Webb is expected to have an operational life of 20 years. What this means is that we have decades worth of awe-inspiring photographs and scientific discoveries ahead for the near future. The question that everyone has is, what's next for Webb? Even though the latest images were amazing, it's nothing compared to what's next to come. Scientists for the JWST program insisted the images were more or less practice runs, which means that the potential for the telescope is phenomenal. NASA has not released a timeline for what's planned next. However, let's discuss a few events that are expected to be ahead for the app and coming year. Exploring the early universe was definitely one of the biggest hypes for the web. It's able to peer into some of the earliest stars and galaxies ever formed in the universe. What we'll be seeing are celestial objects as they were immediately after the Big Bang, nearly 14 billion years ago. The image of the galaxy cluster called SMAC 0723 that was debuted by Biden is one such example. Data was gathered from one of the earliest parts of the universe using a near-infrared spectrograph and it turned out to be within a billion years after the Big Bang. Exploring exoplanets and solar systems will be one of the most exciting observations for the web. One of the images released to the public showcased a graph with measurements of water in the atmosphere of a giant exoplanet called WASP-96b. Even though the data was not as spectacular as the images, it showed an important feature of the web. This is the ability to study more deeply and gain knowledge and more depth into the chemistry of exoplanets. Information such as this will provide answers to questions that ask if conditions of life exist in space. Since Webb has the ability to explore the deepest and most hidden regions of the universe, people hope the instrument will be able to detect exoplanets that are within the Goldilocks zone. A few of the exoplanets aren't too far away from us. There are quite a few Earth-sized planets in a solar system that's revolving around a star 40 light-years away, called TRAPPIST-1. Scientists are excited to use the web to explore TRAPPIST-1 and its planets that are potentially within the habitable zone. There's a big group of scientists, engineers, and researchers to ensure that things run smoothly. NASA has built the web to have perseverance and withstand the harsh elements of space travel. NASA's dedication to keeping the mission running was proven when a micrometeorite struck the telescope in May. The majority of astronomers insist there's a good probability that life exists on planets that are orbiting other stars. It's been found that there are around 300 million potentially habitable planets in the Milky Way galaxy, alone. Astronomers have uncovered over 5,000 exoplanets thus far and hundreds of potentially habitable ones. Galaxies are enormously gigantic objects, as they contain hundreds of billions of stars, millions of black holes, and most likely, trillions of planets. Scientists believe that the combined mass of these galaxies warps space like a bowling ball on a mattress. The warped space ultimately creates a lens in which to look through. It's important to understand that the light from behind this galactic cluster that the web sees is distorted. It's an occurrence called gravitational lensing. It's similar to having a camera lens between the observer and further away galaxies. Albert Einstein was the first to predict gravitational lensing over a century ago. A few of the galaxies in the first images from the web were magnified, while others were more distorted or stretched. For half of its existence, Earth supported an atmosphere without oxygen. Yet, there was still single-celled life. This dramatically changed when a new species of algae evolved. The algae used a process called photosynthesis, which creates free oxygen. From this point of time and onward, Earth has had an oxygen-rich atmosphere with easily detectable biosignatures. Within the next few months, Webb will focus its attention on TRAPPIST-1e, which is a potentially habitable exoplanet that's located only 39 light-years away. NASA has not yet released a new target list or timeline for new images. However, officials insist that the web will focus on the TRAPPIST-1 system during its first year of operations. 
scientists want to not only use the telescope to see what happened, but also predict what's going to happen in the future. This will ensure the longevity of humanity's survival as a species. The future of JWST looks pretty bright for the moment. However, astronomers warn that there's a stable gravitational area where space junk and micrometeorites tend to drift that may potentially collide with the web.